In this exercise, we're going to review the different properties that make up a staircase. To understand this a little bit better, we need to activate the staircase command from underneath the architecture tab and then select on stair. When you do this, we'll see there's a type selector list underneath properties. And if you pick on that type selector list, we'll see that there's an assembled stair, a cast in place stair, as well as a precast stair. Now you can make your own staircases, that's not a problem but they're going to fit underneath one of these three different types of categories. Now I'm going to click just out here and now select on Edit Type. By doing this, we'll go into the Type Properties, which means the properties of the assembled staircase. We can see that there are supports, such as strainers on the right and left hand side, and whether or not they're going to be closed strainers, open strainers, or not have any strainers at all. This area under Type Properties also has a middle support. So if we'd put a check mark in there, we could specify that carriage, that strainer that's going straight up the center of the staircase, and how many of them there needs to be. There is a Cut Mark Type option here. So you can specify if in plain view you want a line going through the staircase indicating that above this line that the staircase should become a dash line. This is where you specify the way that line would look. There's also some hidden properties in here. And run type has that hidden property. It says 2 inch tread, 1 inch nosing, quarter inch riser. It's trying to indicate that this is what the construction of the tread is going to look like. That being said, if you click inside of the box, and if you pick on the little button, you'll see extra properties associated with your tread and risers, including what materials are they going to be made out of. Will there be a tread? Will there be a riser? If these boxes are not checked, then it simply will not have those entities there. I would think in most cases you'll probably have a tread, but there will be conditions where you might want to have an open staircase where you may not have any risers. You can choose the nosing profile. The nosing profile allows you to control the way that the staircase looks. So, in the case of a tread, it isn't just the edge of what that tread will look like. It can be what the entire tread would look like. The riser properties can be found underneath there, and we can click on OK to this. So that was underneath the run type. And the different supports that make up the staircase are showed here. I also want to point out that there is underneath family, system family cast in place, and precast stair. These are different styles of staircases. Some of the properties will be related to these. For instance, in the case of cast in place stair, this would be the kind of staircase that would be just poured on site. The entire staircase is made out of concrete. And what properties would you like to have that style of staircase to have? Ultimately, if you want to be able to come in and adjust your staircase properties, execute the staircase command, be sure to click on the Edit Type button underneath Properties, and through here in the Type Properties dialog box, you can make changes and edit just about all the properties associated with a staircase.